Fallbrook Church. That's where I am the minister of worship there. And um, they attended there and they've been going through some hard times and the church, Fallbrook Church, submitted them. So we're happy to help them out. also affected by Harvey. Uh, they have not made it back into their home yet. They've still got a lot of construction I had to do. Uh, they are, uh, the fiance is a dual transplant recipient and his fiance is uh, just trying to get our house back in order. Uh, and we have another foster family as well. Um, basically same type of story, again more affected by Harvey. It was tragic to so many in our community. Here at Laven Johnson's house, he works with the Texas State Guard. He was actually on up doing service whenever Hurricane Harvey hit. He was out in Rockport, and he lost everything in the flood, both car and also house. So he's temporarily uh, floating from place to place until he can get back on his feet. He's got a couple kids, and I understand that he also has a friend he'll be sharing this dinner with that's from Puerto Rico, also displaced by the storm. Let's put some smiles on these people's faces. temporarily living here I understand until they can get back into their house their house was damaged by Harvey so tell us a little bit about your experience with Harvey and since well um Monday it rained and rained and rained <laughs> and rained and rained oh and it kept on raining the water just rose up and came into the house I had one to four inches of water which you think is not a lot but it ends up doing a lot of damage people have been so wonderful we had a night in the shelter, and it was a blessing to have the shelter, to have people who were providing space and dry clothes, um, food. Then we spent a couple of days at my sister's father-in-law's house. 
We spent a, a month at Daniel's sister's house, and we've been here. This is a townhouse that a friend from church is letting us borrow for a couple of months. And it's been a huge blessing. The way people and Houstonians and everybody's been coming around and supporting all of us, it's, it's humbling. Yeah. And my neighbor said, you know people care, but you don't know that people care until you need people to care. And it's the same thing. You know that people care, but you don't know until you need it. And so even having the, the Thanksgiving dinner from Luby's, it's, thank you guys. Oh, yum. Uh, we have a pumpkin pie. Oh, and then pie. we've got the famous mac and cheese from Luby's. Oh. Yay! Along with some dressing. You're welcome. So we're about to come into the next family's home and we're um, delivering. This has been over here. We got the team going. We found the place. We're and here. we finally found the place. Yeah. Are you ready for Thanksgiving? Yeah. Yeah? Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? What's yeah. your name? Kaden Cleveland. What is it? Kaden Cleveland. Kaden Cleveland. Say hi, Kaden. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Say happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Make sure that we know if you need anything. And yeah, I, I should be seeing y'all at the phone, right? I'll see y'all working out in the beginning. Happy Thanksgiving! Uh, this is some of the food. I'm Vincent now. Hi! This is the food, uh, the boobies. Uh, y'all have to keep pajamas. <laughs> we're having a sleepover tonight. constructed that whole room, it was really nice. Happy Thanksgiving!